Hello, this is Troy Hadrick here from Advocates for Agriculture, and we're here today in Denver, Colorado at the Furniture Row Racing Shop. One of the things we've been working on at Advocates for Agriculture is doing lots of different things, thinking about how can we promote agriculture to consumers, which brings us to the Furniture Row Racing Shop today. I'm here with Patrick Dis Driscoll, and Pat, tell us a little bit about what's going on at the race shop today. A lot of things going on right now, just getting ready, kind of cleaning up from the, the 2010 season, getting ready to move into 2011. Uh, there's all the all the onboard equipment's being stripped down for paint and being repainted for the coming year, and of course the new cars are being put together. Uh, we're standing next to a car right now that uh, is going to be heading for Daytona test, and uh, very likely could be the Daytona 500 car the Furniture Row Racing uh, runs. So, just a lot of cleanup from 10 and looking forward to 11 and building new cars. Now you had a really successful 2010 season, especially finishing up the season very strong. And one of the things that you run uh, last year was the Farm American car. Why does Cowboys and race cars, what do they have in common, and, and what's Furniture Row doing to, to bring those two groups together? Well, as you guys well know, uh, Cowboys and NASCAR and farmers in NASCAR and all of us in agriculture uh, are working to try and tell the story of the American farmer and rancher and the consumer. And that's what this whole thing is, is about, is trying to share that story with as many consumers as we possibly can. Furniture Row believes in this story, and, and uh, what you saw last year in 2010 was a commitment to Furniture Row's ownership because there wasn't another dime invested in, in that program. It was all at the expense of Furniture Row to start telling that story. And, and through NASCAR and through the Furniture Row organization, we can touch 160 million Americans a week with that message. That's 60, 62 percent of the American public. Uh, and when you break those numbers down, the influencer group that comes out of that is still into the literally hundreds of millions of people we can touch and influence positively through this program. Uh, so that's how it kind of all comes together, is, is uh, you've got an owner that uh, uh, here that believes in the work of America's farmers and ranchers, uh, believes in domestically produced food and fiber, and, uh, and has supported this program and has wanted to make this avenue available to agriculture to, uh, to be able to continue on in, in the future. That's really good. One of the things that we talk about a lot is being proactive and telling the story of farming and ranching and and the families that do that across this country, and it's one of the reasons that we're excited to be helping tell the story of the Farm American Project. So, Pat, thanks for having us here today. We look forward to visiting with you some more. We have glad to have you guys.